Welcome to the introductory gene marker software webinar by Soft Genetics. Our entire focus is development and support of genetic analysis software tools for biologists. My name is Teresa Snyder Leiby. Thank you for joining today's webinar. Gene Marker provides genotyping software for DNA fragment analysis and is compatible with all major capillary electrophoresis systems, including ABI, Megabase, and Beckman Coulter. The program is both easy to use and accurate, with biologist friendly design and linked navigation, highly accurate size calling algorithms, flexible panel editor for use with commercial kits or custom chemistries, and includes a wide variety of applications and tools for post genotyping applications. During this introductory webinar, we will cover the first four points in this slide the basic steps to import and analyze data in GeneMarker details of the post-genotyping applications for clinical and ecological research are the topic of separate webinars. Activating user management provides control of user access rights and generates a user and edit history for each project. Access rights for each user may be selected by the administrator, providing assurance that unauthorized individuals do not accidentally alter a project. User management also provides user ID and organization name for the header of the final clinical research reports. Data is imported using the file drop-down or the open data start project menu. The default die channel is for FSA files. GeneMarker easily processes and prints up to 1,000 files in a project. For Beckman or Megabase channels, simply click on the channels icon, deselect the auto set channels, and reset and select the appropriate instrument. Place a check in the auto set channels to make this your default setting if appropriate for your instrumentation. After importing data, the main analysis stream contains the file name tree at the left, synthetic gel image, and the electropherogram of all of the raw data files. A three-page run wizard allows users to select a template or to make a customized template of run parameters. We will use a QF PCR sample data set to walk through the analysis settings for GeneMarker. Select Run from the project drop-down menu to launch the run wizard. In the first page of the run wizard, select a template from the list at the left or enter a new template name to create a customized template. Select a panel from the drop-down list. If your analysis does not require a panel, select None. Select the size standard, standard color, and analysis type, then click Next. The second page is used to set parameters for the analysis. Raw data analysis selections are used to correct for many of the typical chemistry errors and artifacts associated with capillary electrophoresis, such as pull-up peaks, saturation correction, baseline subtraction, and spike removal. The default settings are used for most typical data. Smoothing broadens peaks, therefore enhanced smooth is recommended for only extremely choppy data. Enhanced baseline subtraction is recommended for analysis of fragments that may overlap with the ion front, such as mini-STRs or microsatellites that are in the 50 to 80 base pair range. Size call options include the Southern, which is used for many genotyping applications and is recommended for most analyses in the 20 to 600 base pair range. This method is based on the EM Southern's work. Cubic spline an alternate algorithm for data in the linear range based on the work of Akerlof. And thirdly, the large size is a unique algorithm in GeneMarker that provides accurate linear sizing of data using a DNA derivative migration time correction to large DNA fragments. This is optimized for large size standards such as GeneScan 1200. Allele call parameters include start and ending range for allele calls peak detection thresholds. Minimum intensity and maximum intensity are determined by the specifications for the CE analyzer that was used to produce the data files. The global maximum and local maximum are filtering parameters to refine the peak detection limits using peak heights of the largest and nearest fragments. 
Additional filters include the stutter peak and minus A filter. If an allelic ladder sample is included in the project, the file may be selected from the allelic ladder drop-down menu. The peak score uses an algorithm that takes into account signal-to-noise ratio and peak morphology to filter out artifact peaks, increase the peak score to call fewer peaks, decrease the peak score to call more peaks. AFLP on confidence percentage is only available if the AFLP analysis type was selected in the first screen of the run wizard. This is an additional filter based on peak score for AFLP. To create a custom panel, set all parameters, use the back arrow to return to the first page of the run wizard, and select Save to add the newly created template to the template list, eliminating the need to re-enter custom settings for subsequent data sets. The next time these analysis parameters are needed, simply select the template and click Next, Next, and OK. Typically, a project with 96 files, or one plate, will process in about 15 seconds. The main analysis screen displays the analyzed data. The allele report table on the right has allele calls with labels flagged with green if they met all analysis run parameters, yellow if the peak was within the check range for one or more parameters, and red if the peak failed one or more of the parameters. The synthetic gel image and electropherogram are in the center of the main analysis screen. All channels are shown in this view. The table displayed below the electropherogram contains information on each peak and automatically registers any comment and quality reason for any raw data analysis actions. To display one die at a time, use the show color icon to toggle to the desired die. Select additional files from the allele call list to display multiple electropherograms. Size and quality is indicated by color flagging in the name file tree at the left. Green equals high lane quality. Yellow requires verification. Red means that sizing did not occur. Verification of size call quality is found in the size calibration charts. The size calibration icon in the main analysis toolbar activates the size calibration charts. The sample file list is in the order from highest score to lowest. Click on a file name to display the expected size and actual electropherogram for the file. The file name for the calibration plot of the selected file is in red font. This view provides confirmation of size and quality at a glance. Returning to the main analysis window, link to navigation aids in analysis review. Right-click on a peak or the cell of the report for editing options. The program automatically records any edits and updates the allele label, electropherogram chart, and report table, as seen in this image of the screen after confirmation of allele 487. To zoom in on an area of interest in the electropherogram, draw a box from the upper left to the lower right. To zoom out, simply reverse the steps by drawing a box from the lower right to the upper left. If the panel for your analysis is not in the drop-down menu of the Run Wizard, click on Tools, Panel Editor, to activate the panel editor. The file drop-down menu has options to import panels or the pop-up menu provides options to create a panel using either manual or automatic methods. Minor variations in CE conditions may result in a faster or slower run of a sample set. Panels are easily aligned to samples, positive controls, or allelic ladder samples. Use the mouse while holding down the keyboard shift key to physically drag the marker into the aligned position. Save this with signal information. Calibrates the panel with the CE instrument. In subsequent runs, the auto panel adjust icon may then be used to align the panel. Projects may be saved using the file drop-down menu at the upper left 
and reopened at later date for further analysis. There are a variety of report saving features. We will look at some of the examples in the next two slides. A variety of options allow customization of printed reports, including print type, number of samples, contents, dyes, and advanced options. These may be printed directly or saved from the print preview screen. Report tables may be formatted in a variety of post-genotyping applications for GeneMarker or saved and imported into statistical analysis software packages. For example, allele report settings for a marker table with these options displays the report table with file names, markers, and alleles. In another example, select the allele report setting for peak table and then select the columns button at the right. This activates a menu to select which columns to display in the peak table. The report tables may be saved as Excel XLS files or text files. For immediate assistance, GeneMarker contains a linked user manual. Access each chapter, select from an index of terms, or search for a specific term. There is also a help icon in the upper right of the main analysis screen for a quick list of allele report actions and quality reasons resulting from flagging based on run parameters set in the run wizard. Thank you for participating in this GeneMarker webinar covering importing data and file compatibility, setting run parameters, and saving a run template in the run wizard confirming size calls and calibration, basic features of the panel editor, linked navigation and analysis review, saving and printing projects and reports. Additional features of GeneMarker include a variety of applications, tools, and specialized reports, which are covered in separate webinars. For more information or to download a free 30-day trial program, go to www.softgenetics.com or email us at info at Thank you.